There's a who in my house. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Alright, let's get zooming on those socks there. Look at these socks. Check that out. That's that's some socks right there. That's some socks right there. Alright. It is Christmas time here at the Beatty family house. 2014. 2014, people. We're recording this for ourselves and for you guys. And last night spoil. Chocolate orange. She loves her chocolate oranges. Yes. Love chocolate oranges. So, I got still getting used to this camera, this Canon HF R40. We're going to go ahead and tear into, there's really more than what's available for us, because this is also family stuff, so. And my prize is not even under here. It's not even under there. The one that she thinks that she has this year. The one that I know that, that she I have. thinks she has. So, now that I have an actual lens thing to see what I'm doing, I can see if I'm in the shot. Awesome. Oh, well, you need to pan out on me first so you, they can get a good view of uh, what I'm looking like. So anyway, there is the wonderful Mr. Beatty. And it was my brilliancy to go ahead and make sure that he put on that green underneath his red there. So there he is giving us the nice little pose, 360 view of that wonderful red and green. Isn't he snazzy? And there's Kitty, which you now she's going behind the tree, so. Oh. Apparently this is my first gift. Here she comes right okay. underneath you. Now, honey. Here's Charlotte Kitty. Kitty, come in. Thank you. Yeah, goodness. Now, Eric goodness. Love, you need to be in front of the tree because the light's behind right. you and darkening you. All right. Now, make sure you tap it to tell her to focus on the, on the it's cover. It's focusing on your wonderful little head. Am I sitting down or what? Whatever your soul desires. I'm going to sit down. That's how you get open presents. You sit on the floor. With Kitty. Like normal people. Kitty. I just realized a while ago that Kitty's going to have a lot of fun tearing into new wrapping paper. Oh, yes. Kitty, look here. What is it? What is that? Huh? What is it? Let's find out. Kitty. Kitty. And she lays on it. Typical. All right, this is very light. Hopefully it's not fragile. Feels like clothes, but it might not be. She says I'm gonna like my presents, so let's see what we got. And I tell him that never in a million years would he guess what this one was. This is the one that I've never guessed in a million years. This, apparently, people, is snowman poop. I hear that you've been naughty, so listen, here's the scoop. I'm running short on coal this year, so you get snowman poop. Yeah. Apparently that was what it was. How awfully rotten of you. It's the Grinch. This is Grinch. Okay. The best thing is, I was given that and decided that was the best way to deal with it. Ah, so it's a hand-me-down gift. Thank you very much. Come on, Kitty. Go get it. You going to get your other one? I'll get my other one. Is it this one? Yep. Right, this one is the, the real one. It has a bow. What is that, Kitty? Huh? Makes noise. Do you want to keep the bows or what? It doesn't matter. I don't care about them. You don't care about them either? Hey, can you play with the bow? Hey. Goodness! What is it? <laughs> Sorry, Kitty. <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen. It's funny. You're like, ooh, let's get it stuck on her paw. Ooh! Go, Kitty! Here. The Star Tree Topper. There is something in here, folks. She just taped it back, the little rascal. Show the front, is. because the point is you can't see anything from the front. Turn around. I did show them the front. Would you did put a big black canvas in there or something? There you go. See? Looks like an empty box. Kitty, quit scratching on that pit. Get on here. So this is what she had in the front, which was the back of the box. What do we have now? Oh my goodness. 
This may be a wild goose chase, folks. I recognize these kind of gifts. <sighs> Me. Just slide it off, honey. I'm trying to slide it off. There we go. I do declare, by order of the court, mercy. This is a big long list. Do you want me to read this? Should some of this remain private? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't even seen this. Tell me something. Read it. Okay. You can read it louder to yourself. Where'd you get this paper? All right, I'm gonna read some of this and I'll kind of scan ahead. Dear Eric, she wrote this on the 16th of December. And if you want to go through this faster, don't forget you can press the little speed button down there. I just wanted to take the time to write down how much I appreciate you. You work so hard for me, not only on the computer, but also by hunting, doing chores, and always trying to do the little things that I like. You even continue to be supportive of me when I'm doing nothing but biting off you head. <clears throat> Your head. So here's to keeping score for all the ways you are wonderful, kind, and generous. A wonderful, kind, and generous husband. And this is the score. And this is more of the score. Okay, so. Number one, you listen to me. Number two, you consider and value my opinion. Number three, you like the Christmas tree. Hubby likes. Hubby loves. Number four, you like the curtains and tablecloths. And balances, apparently. Number five, as numbers three and four reveal, you encourage and support my homemaker projects. Number six, you encourage me to do things that matter to me. Number seven, you do not stifle who I am or put me down in any way. Number eight, you dry and put up dishes. Number nine, you finish laundry. I don't start it, but I finish it when I get around to it. Number ten, when I ask for your for help, you generally, generally do it. General, sometimes, maybe. <laughs> Number eleven, you don't get mad at me. Number twelve, you are patient. Number 13, with a smiley face, you give me back scratches. Yes, she likes back scratches. Number 14, with three exclamation points, you wanted a kitty. I do want a kitty. I love my kitty. Number 15, you are amused by my quirkiness. Yes, I am. Number 16, you ride roller coasters with me. Yes, I do. <clears throat> like the way you spelled roller there. Number 17, you like cabins in the middle of nowhere. Don't be eating the snowman poop there, kitty. That doesn't make you sick. Number 18, you like my cooking. Yes, Swappy can cook. Number 19, you help me when I have questions about Scripture or my walk with the Lord. Number 20, you have a desire to be pleasing to God. Number 21, you have chosen to spend more time in Scripture. Number 22, you answered the call to preach, which was back in 2007. Number 23, you play music for me, especially on my new guitar, yes. Number 24, you forgive me when I mess up, likewise. Number 25, you love me and have no intentions on ever giving up in me. I sure don't have intentions of giving up in you, you know. <laughs> Number 26, you think I'm beautiful. No. I know you're beautiful. You with all the little squirty things. Kitty, come here. I'm trying to make a film. Number 27, you praise me. Man, there's 50 of these things. Number 28, oh, she's got a bow over there. You inspire me when I see you stand up for the Lord. Number 29, you like going places with me. Number 30, you like Christmas lights. Yes, and I particularly like watching Wifey trying to put them up. Number 32, number 31, you always want the best for me. Number 32, you have my back. Yes. Just out of curiosity, how long did it take you to come up with all this stuff? Oh, 
<clears throat> Not long. Okay. Number 33, you are willing to fight for me metaphorically and physically. Number 34, zoom in on this arm. You are hairy. Yes, I am. I am a hairy, hairy man. Number 35, you let me strangle, <clears throat> I mean dangle on you. <sighs> Eric. <laughs> when you get your arms around me, it does strangle me. Number 36, when you are upset, you do not raise your voice. Number 37, you desire to be around me. Number 38, you help me when I ask you. Did I miss a word or something? No, it sounds funny. You help me when I ask you fashion questions, and you are always right. Oh, when I have a question about what belongs with the outfit, like on oh, the fashion. boots. Oh, okay. Yeah. When I ask you about fashion. That's the word that's missing. Okay, about fashion questions. And you're always right, yes. Uh, why don't you just zoom in on them nice shoesies there that uh, people will be able to see. Yeah, he convinced me to buy those cute little boots. Yeah. Um, number 39, in general, you're almost always right, which means I'm usually wrong. True. Number 20, 40, you are mature enough to be right. Number 41, you are amused when I drag you around by the hand because I'm in go-go mode. Yes, yeah, especially in shoe stores. Number 42, when I'm cold, you give me your jacket. Because generally I'm hot. Number 43, when I'm sick, you take care of me. Number 44, when I'm down, you cheer me up. Number 45, you're honest with me. Number 46, you leave your hunting boots in the laundry room. Yes, I'm trying to do that. Number 47, you are very romantic. Number 48, you pray for me. Number 49, when I ask for something, you try to make it happen. And number 50, you always, always, always underline, do your best for me. And those were the keeping score for all the ways you are a wonderful, kind, and generous husband. And then it says at the end, so if ever you doubt that I approve of you, just look back on this and remember how awesome I think you are. I love you bunches and bunches and bunches. Melissa Ann Beatty in her little scribbly hand. Now, go look in my purse for your present. Has it been in your purse the whole time? She is evil like this, folks. Everywhere we went, she's had it with her on her presence. I feel like such a fool. Okay, let's go find the present, the purse. Where's it at? The kitchen? Mm -hmm. I will be right back. And you can take another look at your booties from the front. <clears throat> All right. Mm. Let's go dig it for the present. Ugh. Ugh. How much of this stuff do I have to take out to get to it? Let's see, we have a snappy purse. You don't need to take stuff we out. We have a, this has got to be it. Is that it? No. Really? A $50 Books A Million gift card. Awesome. I get more books and maybe more coffee with these. That's it? Okay. Good deal. Now. It's time for wifey's gift. But she thinks she knows what it is. I know I know what it is. She's now go familiar. bring it to me from the closet with its big bulkiness. The thing is, it's not in the closet. It never was in the closet. Well, it's somewhere. <laughs> Actually, you have to go find it now. Since I had to read a whole long list and locate it myself, you have to go find it. <clears throat> Let's follow Wifey. She thinks she might know where it is. Well, he told me not to go in and study in this closet anymore. Or I bet he put, did you put it in here? Thought about it, but no. no. Do, you said it's not do, in the closet. Do, do. No, you can look in there if you want to, but it's not. Do oh, do do. Sorry. Do 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 She thinks it's too big to be back there. But no, it's not back there. Kitty. Oh, look at the kitty. Oh, look at her. Let's see if she'll roll over. Hold on. Kitty. 
kitty. Roll over. Look at the kitty. Look at her. Look, she thinks we're going to tackle her from both sides. Yes, we're too She's sure. okay. <laughs> no, it's not in this room. It was relocated in the middle of the night. Turd. <laughs> that was on tape, thank you very much. Is it out yonder? Nope. This lighting's terrible in here. This is fun. See, if she thinks it's so big, it can only be in so many places. <laughs> is it in here? You better look. The camera doesn't need to see. Oh, no, it's not in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Where else could this huge, gigantic thing be? Right there! There it is, yes. I you should, you yeah. probably didn't come in here to get Kitty. I huh? knew it was cute. Oh, what? What'd you say? Glad I didn't come in here to get kitty when Yes, I am. That's why I was trying to get her attention. What could this be? Is it what you think it was? Of course. Because your wife and you all know all. He used the wrong debit card, and instead of coming out of his business account, which I never see, it came out of the personal account, so I saw the, uh, the price in the uh, store. And Where so it came from, and she knew what it was. Stupid me. But she will like her gift. Let's find out what I it is. I already knew what it was. I was down to, I will say it, jewelry. Or don't say it, because they don't know what it is yet. Or what it a is. replacement. Okay, so the, yeah, that's good <laughs> enough. So let's, let's keep going. Find you a thing to open it with. Oh, wait, there's no scissors there. We will wait and see what Kitty is up to. Kitty, have you found some wrapping paper? Huh? Have you found some wrapping paper? Goodness, you bet. You I think you knocked her on that one. Well, she let me jump over her when I was leaving. So, this is going to be awesome. And you can edit some of this stuff out later. Let me get in front of her here. You need to be facing the other way so I can get the tree behind you. Like, put it, like, get on this side or something. There we go. Now I can sit down. Ah, chillax. Mm. Waffy working at her best. Whatever could this thing be? <laughs> All right, here we go. Ooh, look at there, folks. A Casio electronic keyboard CTK3200. Zoom in on that bad boy. How many keys? 61, I think. Maybe more. It has features such as, I'm zooming in, step up lesson, pitch bend wheel. Touch response, 400 tones, 150 rhythms, and 110 song bank tunes. Now, it's touch response, which is touch sensitive, but it is not weighted like a piano, so it won't feel like a piano. Those were expensive, expensive. So, this booger was around 130 bucks. So, yeah, she's happy. Smile. Yeah. All right. So, this thing will actually have... Ooh, we just missed the kitty going in the box. Ooh, look at those ears. There's ears. This thing has, you know, it has a bunch of songs preset into it that you can follow along, and it will tell you where to put your fingers and teach you how to play songs without reading music. So that's cool. So you can kind of get a feel for it by itself. I've chose this over all the other ones because it just had a better value, had better features, I think, you know, for what it was, and I think you'll enjoy it very much. And while you're setting that up, actually I could probably help you set it up. I'm going to go over the rest of the Christmas present I got early. And then uh, maybe we'll do some more Christmas stuff later. 
So we'll see Merry you guys. Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. We'll see you guys in a little bit, and I'll go over some other stuff that I got. Smile. You're still looking. There you go. Welcome back. Now we're doing a wonderful, wonderful experiment of Kitty's present. Kitty helped me wrap it, but of course she didn't know what was in it. And then Kitty has, throughout the time, been helping herself unwrap it. Yes. As you can see. Java. Java. Hey, Java, Java, Java. Guess what, Java, Java, Java. I wanted to need some scissors to open this up. Java. This is for you, Java. I wonder what it Kitty is special be. enough to receive Amazon packaging, people. What is it, Kitty Kitty? What is it, Kitty Kitty? Oh, look at the Kitty. Here you go. That is 100 or 120 or so bouncy balls, folks. 100. 100. Now, come to the wooden floor. This is where we're originally going to do this. Don't open it too much. What is that, Kitty? Go get him! Go get him! Go on! <laughs> She's like, I have no idea who these crazy people are. Go get it! Go on! She's like, are these really possible? Her tail's like, maybe, maybe, and she's gone. She is all the time losing the bouncy balls that we give to her. They're small, and these should not hopefully get stuck under doors. Yeah, they don't. Already in there, there's some. They hit the door, and then they stopped. I say we leave these on the floor. Oh, yeah. And when we come back, we will clean up. <sighs> she needs she to have a ball, Mommy. Way under there. Go get her, kitty. Go get her. She's a scaredy kitty Go anyway. <laughs> that was funny. She's like, I think she was just overwhelmed. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. We got that on tape. So, I'm going to close this. If she does anything, I'll, I'll uh, start it back up. Yeah, you watch her. Mary? She has a sea of bouncy balls. That's hilarious. They're all oh, she's, she's kind of starting to wander out here. Well, she's sniffing them. These bounce good. They are everywhere. <laughs> now she's looking around. Well, we'll we'll start this again when uh, she starts venturing out. Okay, Kitty is now venturing out. Let's see what she ends up doing here. Go get it, Kitty. Go get him. She can't escape to the room now, so let's see if she starts playing with some of these. Okay. We're still rolling. They do roll under. They do. Well, it will be a lot easier to find these since there's 50,000 bajillion of them. They roll under the ones here. Okay, good. They cannot go under the washer dryer. Which one are they rolling under? Oh, she's they playing one. They can go under the doors if she's rolling them hard enough, but they cannot go under the washer and dryer. Okay. Which is great because we were losing some under there. What about under the stove? Cannot go under the stove, cannot go into the pantry. Let me bounce one of these and see if she does anything with it. Just like the regular bouncy balls, Kitty. Just like the regular ones. Kitty, these are all yours. Here, I like this one. I want to keep this bag in case when we pick them up that one cool. and seal them in this bag. Okay. Yeah, you put just them in. Recording? Yeah. She is like so dumbfounded right now. Yes, I think she's in awe. All these toys. Hundred. Bouncy balls. 100 toys now. All over the place. But look. Even yeah, down the hallway. I'm so tickled. Because her favorite thing is to hide them in the pantry. Yes. She but they cannot can't do that now. The door. Now. Let's take one of these. There she go. Go get it, kitty. And find four, 40 more on the way. There you go. Yeah, let me turn the 
Turn on the light for you. Yeah. That'd be good. <laughs> Go get him. She's going to start playing with him on her arm. She's already looking around at him. She's like, but I, I have so many to choose from now. It's not fair. Can't make decisions like these. This zoom on this camera is awesome. Isn't it? Yep. Ooh, there she goes. She's rolling them. Found her another one. Good. We're having so much fun walking into the house, forgetting that these are here, and then seeing them all over again. Going, oh no. I think we just need to leave them out and let them play with them all. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm letting her. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. So nothing interesting is happening just yet, so I'm signing off for now. And maybe if she gets all wild, I'll turn it back on. She's gonna have to invest. Say Merry Christmas, Christmas, kitty. Merry Christmas. Meowy Christmas. <laughs>